Good morning, everyone. I'm Veronica Girardi, a PhD candidate from the University of Padua, and today I'm going to present you a numerical study based on the use of the material pole method. The methodology has been used to understand the effect of an artificial snowing system on the stability of a ski slope in the Dolomites. The Dolomites are a mountain range located in the northeast of Italy, and the village of San Vigilio di Marebbe is located at their foot in the province of Bolzano. This area is a well-known touristic attraction for ski lovers. In fact, the slope under analysis has been reshaped in 2005 to accommodate a new ski lift, as visible in the picture on the right side. Unfortunately, less than one year after the intervention, a significant landslide occurred, inducing the tilt of the uphill station, as displayed in the video with increased speed, and the movement of approximately 15 meters of the upper pier of the cableway crossing the ski slope. Finally, the landslide stopped close to San Vigilio village and partially submerged the lower station of the cableway. The satellite views prior and after the event make us capture in a glance the landslide planimetric extension. Fluidization of the soil mass was evident. This means an exceptionally high water content characterized the soil mass involved. Therefore, we try to understand the combination of phenomena linked to it. First of all, natural and artificial snow was still covering a consistent slope portion, whose consequent melting and percolation may have altered the saturation of the shallow slope portion. In addition to this, seepage in the slope was probably announced by an intense spring rainfall season. In fact, at half the slope height, a spring emergence was detected. Lastly, during one of our inside inspections, we noticed a pipe cutoff at the slope crest, um, which may have increased the discharge in the upper slope body. All of these triggering mechanisms overlap a pre-existing stratigraphical setting revealed by geophysical and geotechnical investigation. One thing that emerged after this survey was that some um, layers of over-consolidated seal, the one color in yellow, um, may have represent uh, the layer offering a preferential weak plane for the shear localization and slip occurrence. Now a question arises. Can we understand the landslide dynamics with a suitable numerical model, including saturation regime changes? And the answer is yes. So we uh, develop a numerical model based on the material point method, which is a particle-based method specifically developed to simulate large deformations. In particular, we use an unsaturated, simplified two-phase plus suction formulation recently developed by our research team. This formulation allows us to treat the soil in saturated and unsaturated condition. We proceed with our 2D model, so just considering a section of the slope, and uh, we include the uh, four main formations that I presented in the previous slide. To assign mechanical and hydraulic properties, uh, we made reference to the uh, lab test performed with the, on the sample, on the remolded sample collected in the site. We decide to model uh, the three top layers, light blue, blue and yellow, with a simple Morcolon model, while the bottom layer was modeled with linear elastic uh, um, model. And for the hydraulic properties, unfortunately, we didn't have any data, so we just estimate the parameter of the soil water retention curve, uh, which was using a Van Genuchten curve, based on a literature review uh, on similar soils. Now, during our simulation, we tried to reproduce the landslide sequence. So, first of all, we had to initialize the stress and pore pressure condition. In particular, the pore pressure uh, was uh, set according to the initial water table location prior to the event. So, for this reason, we apply a suction of 100 kPa at the top portion of the slope. After this, we wanted to reproduce the alteration of the saturation, so the progressive saturation of the slope. And for this reason, we decreased the suction. At the end, we tried to increase also the pore pressure at the top to simulate the effect of the rupture of the pipe. In this slide, I want to present you briefly some results. So on the left side, you can see the evolution of the degree of saturation a long time, and on the right side, the corresponding um, displacement profile, in particular, the figure on the right can show us the onset of failure at the toe of the slope, which will then evolve in a retrogressive movement. To conclude, I want to show you the comparison between the landslide with the addition of the final effect of pore pressure at the top reproducing the pipe raptor uh, with the one without. So we also overlap the final profile in red, the real final profile of the slope, and uh, we can see that there is a overall quite good matching. We can also say that the pipe raptor probably was not one of the major uh, events involved in triggering the landslide, so we can um, 
make some conclusion and uh, express an, uh, uh, some consideration about which are the major effects involved in it. Of course, we can make some, still some improvements in our model, but we are overall satisfied. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and thank you for your attention.